Greetings and welcome back to Drew's office. So technically speaking, our data over here is just a normal data range. Let's convert it to a table. Our table headings actually start on row two. So we need to change it in here. Notice that we have an extra table design ribbon when we click in the table. We can rename the table in this box here. We can use the name box to jump back to our table wherever it happens to be in our workbook. The last row of our data is currently row 16. Let's see what happens when we add a new record. From the name box, if we choose our table again, we can see that the new record is automatically added to the table. This, my friends, is fantastic. On the design tab, we can change the table style by choosing from this drop down here. We can hover across to see a preview of the style. In the table style options, all of these tick boxes will show or hide a particular element of the table structure. And in the next video, we'll be talking more about the table structure and structured references. A table is a completely different thing to a normal data range. And in part two, we'll learn how to write formulas that reference data in a table. Until then, this is the end.